so I want to go down and then across. This is like a hub level. God, they're going to make me go back to the other side. Use the jump rooms. Was this like the first level they programmed and they didn't know how the jump tunnels would work? So they're like, ah, we don't need them. Uh, I don't have an answer to this either. Sorry, it's been a couple weeks since I've done this, so now I have to reconsider my whole life. So I can't go that way. I can go up and I shall. I also have discovered mouse mouse capture now works, so hopefully I won't have run into as many mouse problems in this game. We'll see. Uh, yeah, hopefully you, the viewer, won't notice any uh, abnormalities. Um, and today, uh, like always, I, I'm drinking some delicious alcohol. This time it's a, a lovely Hot Valley Alpha Centauri. IPAs, IPAs for the masses, my friend. IPAs for the masses. All right, I think I'm gonna go this way. I wish there were jump tunnels. I still wish there were jump tunnels. There may be some editing. There may be. I don't know, we'll find out. Do 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 do. Yeah, keep on keeping on. I don't think I have this one. Because they want a very, there's a very specific verse that they will use uh, for that specific puzzle. So I, I'm very confident of what that verse is, uh, which I believe it's in Luke or something. It's like, no one comes to the Father except through me, which is not necessarily a refuta refutation of universalism. It's just a question of how universal do you want to get? But of course, they will use that as a refutation of universalism. So, you know, thanks, Bridgestone. People don't contribute to the church coffers if they're not part of our cult. All right. Uh, well, I have quite a bit going on here. So let's just keep on. I, I will say this. I feel like a lot of the game is padding and it's really annoying because I continuously circle through these hallways, confronting cybers desperate to find the right verses. All right, I'm just gonna brute force this one, so hold on. Board. Uh, come on. It's only gonna be New Testament. Nope. That brute forced it, baby. I don't even pay attention. Watch this. It's not a trap. We know it's not a trap because I have trap sight. All right, buddy. Oh, dead eyes, McGee. I'm dead inside, too. Hello, Captain Bible. I was reading John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. See? There we go. Got it. Got it. Uh, I chose the Holy Spirit lead me to all truth, but I would like your input on the meaning of this verse. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Now, uh, I want to know, what does you feel that God has shown you? Does it mean that I can get to God by any other means? That I can't get to God by any other means than Jesus? Uh, yes, I think that's what it means. Oh, wow, could you explain it to me? Some people are, and some religious groups say there are many ways to God. So, this is a misunderstanding of what, uh, the universal Christ is. So they're like, ah, clearly, the universal Christians... Uh, don't aren't really Christians and it's like yeah okay buddy <laughs> that's what they believe 100% we won't need to go into that theology uh, but uh, Jesus is saying that there is no other way to God except through him actually it's Luke is saying that Jesus is saying that so just gonna put that out there wow really that makes sense okay or Luke who is the is this Matthew I can't remember I didn't even look at the, what the verse was who had, the author of this gospel says that's what Jesus says and this is what's very very important when talking with this particular type of biblicism is they're not very good at distinguishing the fact that this was written by somebody and that somebody may or may not have had an opinion. They almost always do because everybody's got opinions. You know what I mean? Oh, oops. Is that the right way? Is that where I need to go? I need to open that door. That's going to the mandatory prayer room. Yeah, you know, poor Captain Bible. He uh, he can't tell the difference between uh, his ability to interpret and what it's literally saying. Because the difference between what is literally said in a text and what your interpretation of it is, is is often quite stark. And it always bothers me that, like, 
a lot of the people that are part of this religious movement can't seem to make the distinction between what they interpret a meaning to be and what like the text says so it's it's going to be interesting i i think it's it is interesting if nothing else is a good examination of the evangelical mind all right the only way to get to god is through jesus uh okay this is john john my baby my bro my pal oh i don't i don't need my faith restored dude <laughs> i just that was pointless what was the point of that i there's like eight prayer chapels okay a uh, viewer i want you to look i want you to look there's a prayer chapel there and there's a prayer chapel there what was the point what was the point i ask you um i can't remember what the spider said so we're gonna go look at the spider again just for funsies i'm sure everybody loves seeing that everybody loves that shit oh yeah i don't have the answers i'm not brute forcing that yet unless i have to People really gonna be liking this. People gonna be loving uh, the endless tunnels. <laughs> if there's one thing I love watching on YouTube, it's uh, endless animation cycles of Captain Bible walking. And uh, I think about those thighs and I'm like, crush me between your thighs, Captain Bible. You're biblically awesome thighs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Captain Bible would be down with that, but who knows? They haven't talked about gay stuff yet, so we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. It's really fascinating to me, to me, too, because, like, early Christians were really good at just reinterpreting scriptures all the time, and then modern Christians are like, no, can't do that. Uh, psychics and astrologers have the scoop. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Uh... I don't know what what they want here. Let's look and see what we got. Let's see, God created the heavens and the earth. He wore his lamp. Uh, uh, is it that one? No. I've got to watch out. There's probably going to be an abortionist verse. Abortionists, by the way, a term that I don't think anybody uses anymore. Uh, snares, ignores discipline. Starting a quarrel, Sovereign Lord. I'm just a baby. Don't hurt me. I'm just a little birthday boy. Uh, Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. Is it that one? Nope. I'm just going with anything that seems like, oh, it's talking about the future here. Around your heart and your garments. I find it very fascinating. They like those verses, right? You know, about like God being forgiving and loving and quoting that verse in Exodus, but then they don't like the rest of Exodus for some reason. Uh, let's see. Psychics and astrologers. That one? Yeah, I don't think I got it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move on. Goodbye. Let's go, Captain Bible, to the other part of the map. I, all I have is the section, the verse that I want. I'm gonna need faith anyway, so let's go to this prayer chapel. Also, fun fact, if you die in this game, you respawn at the last prayer chapel you were at. So, also, Captain Bible has the power of resurrection. Or is it is it resurrection, or is it like his faith goes away, and then he just like happened to wander in a prayer chapel, and his faith got restored? I don't know. I don't know what the, what the intention of this was. Real quick, do they have an about? They do not. I want to find out who made this game. Okay, we'll go this way. I'm pretty sure there's going to be, like, a guy I can get. It's about this part in every level that I get kind of annoyed when they're like, oh, put the things that are related to each other far apart so they have to go a long way. I, It's it's padding, man. This game's already long enough as it is. Uh, the, core game pay, the core gameplay loop of Captain Bible is crummy. I'm just I'm gonna tell you that right now. Oh wow, that was that was some top-notch and uh, surprisingly diverse content for me, Turbo Selbor. If you liked that, you should uh, subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, just remember, gaming's for everybody, not just for like your older brother who has like a neck beard. <laughs> <laughs>